Hello everyone, you join me on the Christmas break and I am putting work into the Mazda. Now, as you know, I want to put this car back to standard and drive it into London for some pictures, just as a standard car, because I think this car would be really cool to just drive around as it is. Basically, I've nearly like pieced together pretty much everything we need for the car. Now, what this car needs now is the brakes putting on, making some brake lines, putting the new brake lines on, the flexies that we've got here from HEL. Uh, I want to put a new fuel pump and fuel filter on it. Uh, and I've got a set of tires to put on. So pretty much everything is there. Uh, and then technically I can drive on the road because it's MOT and tax exempt and ULES exempt. So there's not much stopping me. I know everything is quite old underneath there, but there's not really any play in the suspension. Like everything is sort of tight and it sort of works. It runs sweet now. I did actually put some new leads and plugs on. New leads and plugs came off a Mazda 929, a later model, like a late 70s model. They fitted straight on. The gaps on the spark plug started playing up about an hour after I finished the last video on the running issue. But even with this funky carb, it is working very nice right now. Nothing on there. Idles like a dream. Still a little cold. So yeah, that's a drivable engine. So yeah, I am looking to basically take this into London before the end of the year. There's two meets that I want to go to on the 29th and the 30th. Now, it is the 23rd right now and I've got some stuff coming for this car next week, aka the tyres and also the headlights. I forgot to mention none of the headlights work and that's because they're sealed beam units and they don't have any bulbs in them. So you have to change the whole light. So I've got a set of those coming and it should be able to drive on the road, like literally. The only thing that this car doesn't have is heaters. Now, 29th and 30th of December, very cold in the UK. Now, what I'm going to do is just put a coat on so we don't have to worry about that sort of thing. So knowing all that, I'm going to make some brake lines and I'll catch up with you when hopefully it's stopping. A couple of days gone by, got some stuff done, finally. New braided brake lines from Hell, they are in. Two on the front, one on the rear. We've got the calipers that were rebuilt. They found some shims and sent them to me. Uh, this is what we was missing. So they found some, bought them and sent them to me, which I guess is greatly appreciated. Glad we got them now, but... It was hard work to get them, anyway. Front to rear brake pipe, well, I put a joiner on here because it's good upwards of here. And I didn't want to take all the heater blower out to get the original line out, but it's fine from here backwards. Used all the original clips and stuff. It looks really wiggly, but that's just the shape of the car. Got all the bleed nipples freed off, new brake lines on the back, new HGL braided brake line here. Thank you to hell again. I sent me out uh, some extra consumables that I needed last second. And yeah, thank you for them because they got it out to me before Christmas. So shout out to hell, go follow them. Tires, tires, tires. It is so windy today and it's doing my head in. I do apologize. I hope you can't hear it as well as you could in the last video because that really annoyed me when I was editing it, but I do apologize. These tires, they're a little smaller than the originals. I thought that 16514 meant 70 profile. Uh, turns out it means 80 profile. So I got 17565, which is the same. It's literally like one mil difference between uh, 175. Six um, seventy, no one six five seventy, and uh, one seven five sixty five. It's basically the same tire, just this one's a little more square. But turns out it's ten profile too short anyway. So I didn't realize that until they were on. It's not the end of the world because when this car does get lowered, uh, these will be a lot closer to the wheels that I will be running on there. So if I do want to take the wheels off, I will be able to use those wheels and drive low. So it's not the end of the world. It will just look ever so slightly goofy at stock height. I don't think you'll notice too much. And now I'm gonna bleed the brakes. I ordered the headlights, which I hear, pay for extra postage of them. I thought we needed seven inch uh, sealed beam headlights. Turns out we needed five and a half, I think. 
stitch myself up because now I don't know if I'll make the meet in London because we've got no headlights. The bulbs in these headlights are dead. And if we ain't got any headlights, we can't go because the meet is in the evening and everything gets dark very early. So I'll see if I can order some now and potentially get them before the day comes. Headlights sorted. Now, I wasn't thinking I was going to get any headlights between now and New Year. And turns out, uh, my local Bedford battery, thank you, Dave, he has sorted it out. Got myself a set of four headlights, brand new. They are a little different in, like, whatever you would want to call that. The pattern on it, these ones look loads better. Uh, but these ones are obviously just reproduction. They're only working on full beam. Um, Maybe it's a relay or something that's going weird, but obviously they're all brand new bulbs. Everything just plugged in, but they only work on full beam. And, well, I don't know why, but they work. They're probably still a lot less bright than all other LED vehicle headlights on the road anyway. So I'll just use it on full beam headlights, to be honest. If everyone else is gonna blind me, I'm gonna blind them, you know what I mean? Got my little brother here to bleed the brakes for me. He's really happy. <laughs> I'm just going to put the carb on, put all that back together, wheels on, and take it for his first maiden voyage home. Hopefully everything's okay. I've leak checked everything, I've bolt checked everything. Everything seems spot on. So, first maiden voyage is driving it home. Let's see how it goes. Stop flashing the lights! Trim's on. I got... Tires all mounted, lights work. I took the anti-roll bar off because we was missing this bush here. Okay, we'll tie this trim on. <laughs> it's ready to go. Tires don't even look bad after all. Yes, there's a bit of a gap, but you know, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera too well, but it's fine, it's fine. The front will come down a little bit once I've driven it anyway, so. Yeah, let's film it coming out of the workshop. Come on, get out of the car. You've got to film. This is your job for the rest of your life. When we're YouTube millionaires, you just broke the trim. Oh, just spent ages cable tying that up. Idiot. Hold it like this, like this, and you've got to follow the car. No, no, I'm
hold the camera? Get in the car. This is the first drive ever on the road. But we're gonna hear random noises. And I think the speedo is making a lot of random noises already. But we're driving. <laughs> First drive goes well. Speedo cable is basically broken. So it's making a load of horrible noise. As soon as you uh, slam on the brakes, it like jolts back into normality. But yeah, I'm gonna drive it home tonight. Go around the local area, see if it's all right. And then in the next video, we're gonna drive this to London. Mental. Hey. This is the first time it's actually moved under its own power in plus 30 years. Plus 30 years. This is nuts. This is so wild. Now it's getting all rusty. Shame. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Jake? Pretty good. Pretty good. One of your best cars yet. You're a liar. Look at you smiling, lying like that. Hold this. Beetle's clear. No. Yeah. Let's go. It runs loads better now as well. I did some stuff with the carb, played about with the fuel filter. The only thing I need to change now is the carb and the fuel uh, fuel pump. But we're leaving the fuel pump until it actually dies. But yeah, street racing. Don't know how much fuel we got. The gauge is obviously probably Great. not accurate, but we'll see what happens. Brakes feel normal. Normal for old brakes. Well, even though they're all rebuilt, but <laughs> let's go. Nearly enough. This car has 
not driven in 30 years. Do you, do you hear any knots or bangs, Jake? No. Spin. Spin. It's actually really good. I'm impressed. Smooth, comfortable, no knocks. Steering's not straight, but they pretty much drive straight. It's quiet. On the way to the petrol station now. All oh, works. What? <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the petrol station. Still works a treat. Right, filled out with fuel. 30 quid of unleaded, super unleaded. Hopefully that fixes the hesitation and misfire. Runs a dream. Runs a dream, right. Drive home now. Another two miles. Jobs are good. And turn the lights on. Oh, what a good car. see if it's okay uh, it has a random misfire but I do believe the fuel pump might be overheating that's why so yeah drives good nonetheless stops well does the whole lot what a good car anyway thanks for watching it was a short one but yeah thank you very much goodbye